Hey, Don back again with the IBM server. Um, my server. I went ahead, I thought, well, I'm going to plug it in out here before I drag it back in the house and see uh, see how the fans are doing and everything. And uh, I didn't think about plugging up the mouse and the keyboard and the monitor until after it. Well, it booted, see, it's set to boot up after, you know, to always boot up if it's plugged in, like after, so it'll always boot up in a power loss and be back online. So it, it booted right up, <clears throat> and then I said, oh, I'm going to plug in the, all this. Well, it didn't uh, find the monitor because it wasn't plugged in, I think, is all that happened. And, of course, it's not going to find the PS2 mouse and keyboard in the house I use a USB on it. Well, actually, I use the KVM switch, which is USB, but... I don't know. I bet you... Can you tell how quiet that is? I'm really close with this phone, as you can see, so I'm sticking it up in there. That's why I've used it. main reason I picked it for a server that and it had enough power, well, the one I was using was a 400 megahertz Pentium 3, and this is a, a Celeron, but it's uh, 2.4 or 2.5 gigahertz. It's a single core. It's in the, you know, the i586, I think. Or maybe it's a 686, I can't remember. I think it is a 686, but anyway... Of course, we're out in the garage, so there's, you know, outdoor noises and back doors where you get the most noise because out there, there's one more house behind us, and there's a service road, and then the highway. So I don't know how much that'll compete, but that's good. No more noise. Just needed cleaning really bad. Okay, well, let's see. Let me go and. Uh, I'm gonna have to just hard set it down. I can't control it. I wouldn't even know what I was doing. Okay. Now we'll boot it back up. I kind of want to stay close to it so you can hear it. Yeah, that'd be nice and quiet. And that's with the cover off. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just barely caught there. It's, it's automatically booting up like it should. I figured that's all it was with the monitor. One time, there's been times when you switch between a you know a flat panel monitor and a CRT, and it doesn't work at all. You have to fiddle around with drivers and stuff. But usually with an older machine, it's it, it was made during the time of CRT monitors anyway, so it, you know it has the drivers. But. Uh, Hit escape on the keyboard here and we'll watch the command line as it boots up. It's not connected to the internet. I don't know if it's going to sit there for a while trying to connect or if it'll go on by. It may sit there a while trying to connect and then throw up an error. It may have already went by. I don't know. I wasn't paying any attention. <coughs> I think that... No. <coughs> like it's already past the network stuff. It's just starting Plymouth boot screen or Plymouth. I think that's spelled Plymouth, but for some reason I always called it Plymouth. I think it was because the website had an icon of this big red and whatever black and blue or whatever mouth thing of a drawing. I think it just made me think it was a big wide open mouth. So I've been calling it Plymouth ever since I've seen that website for the uh, developer, developer's web <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've been in the dust. Okay, yeah, I booted up. And, uh, no point in logging in. I know if I did, I wouldn't have a network connection. I mean, I could plug a wire into it, but I don't want to. It might even compete with my server that I'm using right now, my backup server over here. So, uh, it made it through the night without disconnecting. I, I went back and looked at all my my uh, monitors, my website monitors, my online monitors, I keep pinging it every so often to see if it's online. It made it, and it's still online all day too, so that's good. I was worried. I had trouble. Like, every time I rebooted the routers inside, I had to come out here and reboot that zone net. It's a wireless repeater. That's how I get internet out here. And uh, But since it's a regular router and a wireless repeater, you can plug in wired ethernet cables to it, and it will put these machines online that don't have wireless. It's kind of cool be able to use these old machines in the garage and didn't want to 
you know, wouldn't want to use new ones out here. But they're just out here for testing and sometimes I test the computer whenever somebody gives me one or, or if I got something out here that I want to fiddle with when it's not hot. It's kind of hot, getting kind of hot right now because I don't have my fan in here. It's outside. Put it out there to blow the dust away from me. I do have this one, but it, I think all it does is blow hot air down on me from the ceiling or something. I'm not sure what happens with that. It helps. Anyway, um, that's good. It's quiet again. And it should be fine, just like it was. So I can, I think I'll try doing a little vacuuming around that area. If you saw the previous video about it, you saw how bad the dust was. So while I got it out, I can vacuum that area where it sits. Okay. Bye bye.